perhaps, Mr. President, you can focus on your vision for not just Rwanda, for the region and for the continent. The progress we have seen in many parts of our continent, there are a number of countries that have been mentioned and others that were not mentioned, but there is progress. It's, but those few that were picked uh, and, and highlighted give or provide the example of what is possible. But even then, it shows what is possible. It's not that we are where we want to be or where we actually should be or can be. It just shows that there is a path to achieving what we want to achieve, and that's what we have tried in Rwanda. And in that frame of mind and with our vision of providing employment for our young people and involving women who have in a way been behind, who have been really the backbone of, of agriculture and therefore they have to be involved in uh, the transformation of, of this sector. We have put together from Malabo a robust work plan together with the member states and at the country level the countries are ready to implement. We have put in place tools and the policies at the countries, definitely you have heard from the heads of state, I don't have to talk about them. They, they are changing to respond to the commitments they have made. If you have to end hunger by 2025, definitely you have to put in place a mechanism which is going to take this one forward. Actions and results will definitely yield the agricultural transformation we want on the continent. And I would like to thank you very much, all of you, and to thank the excellencies for joining hands and leading the way to this uh, process. 70% of our population engaged in agriculture. Our demographics, very clear, a youthful population, not just in Kenya, but Africa as a whole. And we're still talking about a great need for the African continent to be food secure. We're talking about a green revolution. This to me is the opportunity. We have the workforce and we have need for them to engage in agriculture in order to sort out our food security issues. Even as we say there is a role for governments in terms of creating the enabling environment, in terms of creating the necessary policy framework to encourage agriculture, we, 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 we have to ask how do we partner with others, especially the private sector. If we look at the synergies that can be derived from working together the private sector, the private sector really has to see agriculture as that sector that has a very huge potential. All we need is just to make that potential materialize in a way of uh, benefit and in a business sense.